Hello and welcome. We are Bleeding Tree Gaming. My name's Amy, aka Warp Fiend, and I'm joined by. Hello, I'm Tammy, aka The Autumn Witch. Hello, I'm Luke, aka Sanaim. And today we are talking about some of the hot gossip that's come from Games Workshop. And the big one is obviously female custodies. The internet has been uh, blowing up with that. <laughs> but then. GW threw this little curveball at us. Oh, a wonderful curveball. <laughs> they have confirmed, basically, that this edition, we are getting the Emperor's Children uh, range refresh that everyone yes. Just uh, expected. Not for some time. Yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. Now, I would like to point out that all of the models, um, <laughs> except for like the Cadians in the foreground, but if you scroll back up, yeah, there. Even the the uh, the scenery kits, every single model and kit represented in that picture is out of production. <laughs> I can don't you know even if, if they're deliberately doing that? Just can you still buy the noise marine conversion kits, the non Forge World ones? Oh, Lord, um, I don't um, even know. I'm not sure. But that's uh, the old I, I, Chaos Space Marine kit, obviously, and Lucius looking yeah. just like <laughs> the worst for wear. Poor lad. Oh, yeah. I hope he gets the glow up that he, um, oh, what's it called now? Uh, Hammer and Bolter. Yes, I, yeah. I oh, he looks so badass in that. <laughs> but the terrain as well, it's like they didn't even do a proper photo shoot. <laughs> they just went back <laughs> like 10, 15 years and decided, I'm sure some of those upgrade parts on their this own. This was metal. probably in White Dwarf in like 2008 or something. Yeah, something <laughs> like that. <laughs> Didn't even bother a new, for a new photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some images out of the archives. But as you noted, they said, you, know, you might think that this heralds the imminent announcement of a new codex. Um, but if so, it's too distant uh, to tell, basically. So what that means is they're probably coming at the end of the edition. Like yeah. next year, the year after, maybe. Yeah. They'll get their own rules just in time for those rules to be negated by the new edition. Yeah, it's yeah, exactly the same as we had last edition with the uh, the World Eaters. The, mm. the Codex rolled around. They were nowhere to be found in the Codex, so they jumped yes, out and said, oh, here's yes. an index for you. And... So, someone's beeping. That's Beep me. Phone, please. That's <laughs> me. <laughs> oh, it's, it's one of those phones where you turn the volume right down but it still dings when you get an alert. Yeah, yeah, you literally have to mute the thing to get them to stop I, doing that. You I can't just turn get, the volume down. To get this to shut the hell up, I'm going to have to take a hammer to it. That's usually a good option. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, going from noise marines to uh, Phone some noise. intrusive noises. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a cacophony. <laughs> And moving swiftly on to uh, the big thing that's been <laughs> exploding the internet. The, the thing that's been blown out of all proportion this week in the world of war. <laughs> so, uh, oh no, my custody's got a JJ. <laughs> <laughs> so a line was taken from the Codex that just confirms that there are female custodians. Um, I think the the thing that's quickly become clear is a lot of uh, uh, creative people behind the Custodes line, I believe uh, Aaron Dembski-Bowen weighed in at some point. Um, basically, they were told by a manager to not write any male Custodes when the first Codex came out because all the models, there weren't any female heads for them, basically. Mm. But there wasn't any like law reason that pre-existed why you couldn't have female custodies so obviously a lot of very normal people have taken this as the opportunity to just absolutely uh go wild with it shall we say yeah. <laughs> oh god it's it's both harrowing and hilarious watching the uh 
but they claim that it's a vocal minority of woke activists. Somehow we've got um, control over Games Workshop just so I mean... we can woke up their 40k. <laughs> out of, it, out it... of all the targets, like it, it, it's obvious like 40k is the main battleground in the culture wars here. I mean, <laughs> I've literally you seen say... like, the image going around. I don't know if that is actually just fan art or if that's actually an image from the Codex that someone's done of like the female custodian. I, I, every, I don't think it's from is, the Codex. I think this is, is just that. all that's there. Everything is canon, not everything is true. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. I don't know. I, I but, honestly just thought this was kind of like a joke that everyone was like losing their minds. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, I actually started seeing more stuff about it. I mean, they say it's all culture war stuff. The sort of culture we're talking about is the mm. kind of culture you find in a bio yogurt. Yes. Well, <laughs> That's a lot of the like people... the level of. Uh, of, of, of yeah, quality. I've seen I've seen a lot of conversations go on where someone goes, "I'm outraged that they would destroy the hobby this way," <laughs> and people like ask them, "Oh, how long have you been in the hobby?" And that like, I'm not, but I'm still angry. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this hobby twelve minutes. <laughs> like, yeah, next year I've been in the hobby thirty years. Yes. Uh, you, you can shove your crap up right back where it came from. Uh, I mean, I did the terrible thing of looking for a comment section earlier, and um, oh, there was there was a couple of other things, and then there was just a brilliant comment of a guy underneath just going, "Oh well, you know, at least there's going to be some cheap custodies on eBay for me soon." Or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I think fair. another of my favourite comments was, "Well." Female custodies are probably the only way you're ever going to get your hands on anything female. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Well, yeah. I mean, like it's it's a bit of a waste that they didn't put out like a female custodies model, as uh, Luke you said to me earlier. Oh yeah, it was in the the, uh, the shield captain. That would have been a that would have been really nice, just like something yeah. to tie in with a new book or something like that. A missed yeah. opportunity. Instead, they went for a, a Votan uh, custodies. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, why? I mean, it would have been spectacular to have a great big gold muscle mummy. Yes, <laughs> that would have been cool. Hopefully that means that, like, next edition, maybe, there'll well, be some. That was it as well. I've seen other people calling it the end times that custodies <laughs> are turning into Sigma Marines now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because it's amazing they, they would, how they, they can uh, just alike, switch the same. They? Yeah, the, the same talking points will just keep on going round and round ad nauseum, <laughs> and they just change it. Oh, Sigma Sigmarines, the, the the new Space Marines, and then like, <laughs> oh, these Chaos Warriors are the new Sigmarines. I mean, honestly, did like did the Stormcast ever have like any kind of issue when they did like female heads for any of them or was, I, I imagine probably somewhere there might have been but... no well, they, I don't they, think so I don't they remember there would have been a lot of furtive fapping in someone's basement but <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway well let's round up for today with something a bit more positive which I thought was kind of cool. It's Lord Flashart. It's obviously Lord Flashart. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, this, this is the woke agenda again, because Flashart said in his first appearance in Black Hatter the Second that he always feels more comfortable in a dress. So, you know, we now have a, a cross-dressing Lord Flashart. I yeah, mean, it's, yeah. It's just woke gone mad. <laughs> Mind you, this guy is a like left... <laughs> This guy on the, the left looks like he's complaining about Woke Gone Mad, to be honest. He's got that look about him. He's got that walk like there's something jammed up his butt. <laughs> Probably a female custodian. Do you think it somehow count as yes, physical yes. contact? <laughs> well, I mean, re really get it back in slightly. I mean, GW can sell me any model with a Jacobean roof. It's a... Uh... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. I just think the design on these <laughs> is just so perfectly... Rough. This is what sums up Warhammer. You have a guy wearing a ruff with, uh, like, a bionic eye and, uh, like, all kinds of, like, crazy augmenta... Aug... Aug... Augmentics? Aug... 
augmentations. What, what? Augmentations. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that's my bits, creative yeah. writing degree put to good use. Yes, yes. Well done there. And I just love this paint job in general, just like the very kind of like, I, I'm not sure. They, they've got the rogue trader look, basically, the kind of like imperial loan ability thing. And yeah, it's an absolutely great look. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I mean, I love a trench coat. I love a trench coat. So, And a rough, a double rough. Yep, yep. Ruff, yeah, ruff. It's, it's all good. <laughs> Work! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Just a little speech bubble coming out from there. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, it has been fun. Uh, hope to catch you in the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We be Bleedy Tree Gaming. And we will see you in the next one. Or you'll well, see us. Technically, yeah. that's how YouTube works. <laughs> yep. Bye. See you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>